Lucy's age was staggering at the time, 3.2 million years old. Time on such a large scale is hard to comprehend, but it is possible to put into a human perspective. Take a single modern human and place a parent behind him and then a parent behind that and so on. Generation after generation stretches into the past, forming a line of spectacular proportions. The first of our kind, modern Homo sapiens, are 100,000 years old and first appear about three miles down this line. To find a species like Homo habilis, which lived more than two million years ago, requires a 60-mile journey back in time. Traveling even further back into our ancestral past, there are fewer and fewer landmarks. 96 miles down the line and 3.2 million years into prehistory, we eventually find Lucy. What made Lucy so important is the fact that her skeleton clearly shows she was a biped, that she walked on two feet. Because of her age and her bipedalism, Lucy fit perfectly into the established picture of bipedal evolution. An upright walking ancestor that lived around 3.2 million years ago at the time of the expanding savanna, well after the deforestation of East Africa had begun. But now, that theory and Lucy's place within it are being challenged. For if Aurorin really is a six million year old hominid, we will be taken deeper into the past than ever, to a time when the conventional wisdom has not even been tested let alone applied. This is a period of time from which we have three or four fossils that you could fit into the palm of your hand. And anything that would be found in this time period of five, six million years has to be important. The bones' lasting significance will depend, however, not just on their age, but on where they are placed on the human evolutionary tree. We're really dealing with an infinitesimally small and we hope representative part of the fossil record and trying to draw out details about human evolution from those few remains. It is a daunting task, for although there is only one surviving species of humans today, our evolution was a convoluted one. For evolution is about populations, populations that sometimes split to form new species, and other times die off in evolutionary dead ends. Determining any single fossil's place in this chaos is an immense challenge. For a long time, anthropologists have uh, speculated that the, that the recent ancestor, the common ancestor to uh, both the living African apes and uh, those branches that evolved into uh, hominids, uh, was to be found somewhere between six and 10 million years ago in Africa. The map of human evolution is constantly being redrawn as new discoveries fill in holes in the record. But scientists generally agree that hominids split from apes over six million years ago. Was Aurorin present when the split occurred? 